might be wrong, yes? But if I want the best guidance to live the best life, who do I go to? I go to the one who has the best information, the best knowledge, the highest of knowledge, the one who made me, the one who created me, the one who knows me better than I know myself. We have to strive to do good and then Allah says that we will help you. Then Allah says that we will change your circumstances. That's why I believe. This is what we that, believe. That, that's what I believed before that uh, the true Muslims are really very close to God. So why don't you become a Muslim then, sister? I can't because of the moon. Oh, forget the moon. Oh, I can't. So, 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 forget the moon. I, I can't forget because the moon. of the rabbit and the, and the moon and the cat. Forget the rabbit, forget the cat, forget the moon. Just turn to God. Or fake God. <laughs> Can I ask, what, what do you believe, sister? What do you I was believe? Christian. I have been baptized two times and I quit again. Okay. And now I believe there's only one God and nothing else. Alhamdulillah. It's fantastic. Have you had the opportunity to look at Islam at all or look at the Quran at all? Or? One of uh, your brother, your uh, uh, Islam brother, his name is Adil, which means uh, justice. He gave he bought me a Quran okay. from uh, from uh, internet, okay. but uh, I couldn't understand. Okay. Even it's written in Chinese, okay. but the translation it's not I very couldn't, good. Okay. I couldn't understand. Okay. I didn't read. Yes, so well. I think that is one of the problems with certain languages that there. I don't know if there is a very good Chinese um, translation. Um, I can give it can to you. Can you have got? Have you got maybe one there? Um, but what, what we can do, inshallah, we're going to be down here on the 15th. 15th? 15th. Uh, this month. This month. Yeah? And then they will come back again? No, no, no. We, we come every six weeks, five weeks, whatever. We can maybe do some research and I'll see if I can find you a nice Chinese Quran as a present. Wait, wait. I, think I may have something. Oh, no need. Uh, I don't want to keep so many stuff. I just want to be as simple as possible. No, but it's very so good to... There's Sorry, internet do you, do you, I can do you read. you understand this, Thai? No, I don't understand. Chinese, uh, simple. Chinese, Chinese, simple. Chinese. I don't know what that's. I'll, 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 do, I'll do a bit I, of research. I Look, I've got Chinese. But what, too, okay. but what I would like to say to your sister is this: that what's your name? Abbas. Oba, Abba. Ab Abbas. How to spell? A B B A S. A B B. That means Abbas. Uh, there's lots of different meanings, but one uh, of the meanings is you believe, son of the son of a lion. One is lion. Uh, I'm not a lion. I'm a, I'm a pussy cat, really. <laughs> but uh, you know, oh, that's uh, the it's meaning. interesting. My name is Huang Yi, and sounds like a lion. Also. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I, like, I love okay. Okay. So you, you <laughs> Two lions is dangerous. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so what I would say to you, sister, is this: that minus yeah, one yeah. plus minus one. Okay. It's uh, two. Uh, okay. So it's not a medal anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. That's true as well. That's true as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, what no, I would say no. to you is that, no, alhamdulillah, Islam no, no, offers uh -huh. us a complete way of life. So, how should I worship Allah? It's a very fundamental question. Many religions, they say, oh, you worship like this, or you should do this, or you should do that. But in Islam, we have a, an example of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he taught us how to pray, how to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The beautiful thing is, when you look at the Old Testament, Moses on the mountain, peace be upon him, he puts his palms and his knees and his face onto the ground and he worships the Creator. When you look in the Bible, the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus throws his face onto the ground. In the Bible it says this. He throws his face onto the ground and he worships the Creator. The Prophet Muhammad did not teach us something new. He taught us, peace be upon him, the same way that Abraham prayed, the same way that Moses prayed, the same way that Jesus prayed. But because it was forgotten, because people changed it, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, just came to remind us of the same message. I only wanted to know why your Muslim flag, there is a moon on the flag. Oh, you know, this is cultural. This has nothing to do with religion. In the early days of Islam, 
this concept of moon or crescent no, on, on the flag. It's a symbol of your religion. It has, because I'll tell you why. You can't see it here. No, 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 uh, no, 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 I'll tell you why. That's a good question. It's a good question. Because in Islam, we our dates, when we see Ramadan, when Ramadan starts for fasting. What is um, 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 Ramadan? Ra Ramadan. Ramadan is fasting. When we fasting fast for one month, uh, we see the, the, the crescent of the moon. Because our calendar is with the moon. Chinese calendar also with the moon. With the moon. Yes. The, Jew the, 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 the Jewish cal lula, lula the calendar. Lunar calendar. You also use lunar yes, calendar? Yes, yes. So we have the same... same? It's very similar. The oh. Jews yes. in the old... They all use a lunar calendar as well. Really? Yes, they do. So many of the Jewish... Uh, you know, many of the Jewish uh, traditions are followed on the lunar calendar. Same with Islam. So what some people they did is because it has quite a lot of importance when it comes to the different dates for Ramadan, for Eid, for the celebrations, for everything else. Who created they incorporated, who designed it's, it's just, flag? just people. people. It's just people. This is nothing to do with religion. religion. The, the crescent of the moon on a flag has nothing to do with the religion. So if you can, why don't you just uh, re remove it and well, it's because, the flag? Because the flag is not representative of Islam. It is in the world. Well, when when no, people no. see that flag, they I say agree. it's Muslim. I agree. People see it that way. But in Islam, we have no concept of the crescent on the moon to mean Islam. This is something that people did through tradition. Now what happens is, sometimes people, they see something and they see, oh, this must be to do with their religion. But it's got nothing to do with that. This is a, this is a true symbol of a Muslim. No, 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 no. This, this is not. Not necessarily. But what people have, what people have is they have the name Arabic of Allah. So in Arabic, this is Allah. Allah. So what people do is, uh, you know, to show... So why don't you use this Allah uh, symbol well, on your flag? So on some flags, they do have Allahu Akbar, God is great, or God is the greatest. On some flags, they have La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Um, uh, there is uh, there is none worthy of worship except God, and Muhammad is the messenger of God. Some flags they have this, and some of them they you know they put the crescent on or something. But there is no specific flag that connects people to Islam. This is a this is a it is connected. No, no, it's I, worldwide I understand. But the world sees it that, that way. No, it's a worldwide. I agree. Yes. But so, for example, the British flag, red, white, and blue. Okay, if you were to look at this, and you didn't know about Christianity, you did not know about Islam, you would not automatically assume that oh, this must be a Christian flag. It's just a a, uh, a symbol people designed to make it different from somebody else. This is all. <laughs> like uniform. Like a uniform, you know. Uniform. But it doesn't. It has no theological. This is the important thing. It has no theological basis to it's have more it. In, political, it's a political, uh, right. it's uh, political and, and individual. Right. You know. Well. Just to recognize, this is a, a house of Muslims. This is a house, whatever it is. Just see the beauty, sister, about Islam is that Allah tells us what is harmful. Even if it's a symbol, in a symbol, it's symbol is a house of Islam. You can put this. On, I, I, on I, I agree. Like that, that is so much it's better, better to have the name yeah. Allah. I agree. Allah, yeah. Sister, you know, so in Islam, Allah gives us a way of life to help us not only be the best physical, uh, you know, physical uh, person, spiritual, spiritual, mental. All of these things we believe that Allah has given us the perfect way of life. So, for example, look at today. How many problems are happening because of drugs and alcohol? Um, let's talk about uh, your flags. Yes. Uh, if you keep using that moon and star flag, yes. you, you, you're talking about the spiritual also. The, um, how to say, uh, or attracts or attract the speech, uh, spirit spirits we, we to, don't, the, to the moon. We don't believe this. The, we don't believe in stars, don't We believe don't, we don't believe in this superstitious stuff. We only believe in what Allah has told us. We don't believe in things that Allah has not told us. So, for example, to try to attribute meaning to things, which you, you might be right, you might be wrong. So, for a matter of theology, we have to, there's a science. It has to be either in the Quran or it has to be in a trustable source of it hadith. It really matters a lot. Of course it does. Of so course it does. Why, why the Creator give the first, uh, first uh, um, people name Anda? 
why he he gave uh, the name Moses? Why he gave the name uh, Abraham? Yes. Because uh, every name has a meaning, and yes. the meaning matters. No, I, I I agree with you. With, same with this, your flag. Yes. Your flag has a meaning. Uh, has has a has a moon and a star yes. on the on the flag. Yes. So the moon has a meaning. Yeah. No. And attract the, the meaning attracts the spirit. Yes. No. Well, we see we we don't believe that by drawing a moon that you can because I'll give you an example. I'll, I'll give you a very good Drawing example. A moon, the moon is on, has, a, has its own meaning also. Okay, let me give you an example of what our theology core belief I is. Know you don't be, I, I know you don't worship the moon. You no. don't worship the star. You yes. worship Allah. I yes. know that. Yes. But the moon and the star yes. on the flag, yes. they have a meaning there. I understand. Sister, let me just explain to you our theology, our core theology, why we don't delve in these things. Um... We, we believe, uh, our theology basically is that Allah says, Allah says to us directly, if all of creation get together, that means the spirits, the jinn, the angels, all of creation, the animals, all of human beings, everything, everything, they get together to harm you. And Allah does not wish the harm to reach you then they cannot harm you. The harm will not, will not reach you. And if, if they wish to benefit you, and Allah does not wish the benefit to reach you, they cannot benefit you in anything. This is our theology. So, so Allah we, want everybody be, be, them, be himself or herself. Just be themselves. Yeah, so Allah, Allah wants you to have the best life. And so by getting the best life, we get the best guidance. And the best in this world, sister, the, listen. Nobody is possible to get the best life. No, no, but listen to what I'm saying. The best guidance is from the one who is the best, the which is the Creator. Yes. And so, if I want to take advice from this brother, I say to him, brother, you know, I have a problem. I'm quite fat. You know, how can I lose weight? You know. Oh, I'm fat. And he says to me, you know, okay, um, don't drink eat this. Water. Don't eat. Drink more water. Maybe don't eat this one so much. Now the brother might be right. The brother might be wrong, some of it might be right, some of it might be wrong, yes? But if I want the best guidance to live the best life, who do I go to? I go to the one who has the best information, the best knowledge, the highest of knowledge. The one who made me, the one who created me, the one who knows me better than I know myself. I turn to him. And where do I get this guidance from? From the best people that he sent, which are the prophets. So from Prophet Abraham, I get lessons of life. From Prophet Jesus, I get lessons of life. From Prophet Moses, I get lessons of life. And I get lessons from life from the last prophet, which is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because we are told they are the best of examples to you. So if you wish to have the best of lives, follow them. Listen to what they said. And by the way, here is my revelation. If yeah. you hold on to this tightly and you hold on to their example tightly, you won't be in problems. You won't have worries. Yeah, you'll be the I, best health. You'll be I, the. You'll have the best uh, soul, the best uh, m mind. Do you believe there is a rabbit on the moon? Do I believe there's a rabbit on the moon? Yes. I don't believe there's a rabbit on the moon. <laughs> the, the Buddhi, Look, the, there's a so, Buddhist. There is a Buddhist. Uh, just uh, uh, just uh, for cheer, for for cheer. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing too serious. Okay. And no offense. I'm not taking you seriously. <laughs> don't worry. No, no offense at all. <laughs> so the, there's a Buddhist uh, story, small story. Um, the uh, uh, Buddha come to the world as a human, right. as a beggar, yeah. beggar man, and beggar food everywhere, right. and get go to the line, and the, all the animals they don't they don't give him food or just a little bit of food. Right. When the Buddha. When the um, bigger Buddha went to a uh, rabbit, the rabbit, uh, you know the, what, what the rabbit did? Sit up of a fire and jump into fire before he, before the rabbit jump, said, you eat me. Okay. So the Buddha think, thought, the, the rabbit is the most, uh, uh, how to say, merciful. Merciful. Uh, merciful. So when the rabbit died in the fire, the Buddha, uh, the Buddha beggar sent him to the moon. Okay. The, uh, sent, uh, so the the rabbit become a moon rabbit. Okay. 
Do yes. you believe this, or you just think it's just, or are you just saying it to? And also, and, and also another 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 horse. rabbit uh, a rabbit uh, story about uh, another story about rabbit is uh, in the ancient Egypt, and the uh, people worship the sun. Yes. Um, you, yes. If, if you if you go to Houston, there is a statue. Um, Matthew and uh, or cat. So there, there, uh, there was a cat in the sun. Yes. Okay. So the um, Egyptian worship sun actually worship the cat. After that, the e the Egypt was uh, almost uh, distinguished. Yes. So the cat wanted to revenge, revenge God. God distinguished the Egypt. They want revenge. So the cat told the rabbit in Egypt, help him to revenge God. Okay. We don't. I mean, do you, do you you don't believe, do you believe this or? There are many uh, stories, stories. Uh, you, animal you, stories. You. Uh, the them. This is all in Buddhism, is it? The rabbit, the rabbit in the Egyptian become. I said, no offense. It's just a story. I understand. Just story I heard. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Then the rabbit. Named after animals, is it? The rabbit became Haga. Okay. It became Haga, a maid. Okay. Of Sarah in Egypt. Okay. Uh, who believes this? Or where does this story I, I just, I just told you in the, in the Buddhist. Oh, in Buddhist. In, in, in the, no, no, no. Um, let me finish. Or oh, don't, don't cut a half sentence. Okay. It's not good to understand. No. Okay. So. Uh, when the uh, when the Haga become 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 a maid of Sarah in right. uh, Egypt, right. uh, Muhammad uh, married, uh, uh, I mean uh, Abraham married uh, yes. Haga later, right. and uh, because she is a moon rabbit, she's oh, actually on the moon. Okay. okay. Uh, so uh, the, you have a flag with moon. It's because. Haga, the mother of Muslims on the moon. But the moon, the moon flag came much after Islam came. You do appreciate that. So there's no connection with Islam or the Prophet Muhammad saying, "Okay, we're going to put this." Is, that, and that makes this sense. Is, this, is, this is something that came many, many, many years afterwards. So my point is that the flag is after Muslim. Yeah, after Islam came. Yes, that so, makes sense. Even before okay, Muslim, it doesn't make sense. No, no, but my point to you is that this flag with the moon and everything else came much after, many hundreds of years after the Quran came down. And there is nothing in the Quran that gives reference to this story that you've said, or the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon giving reference to this story. Do you we don't believe me? that they were. We don't believe that they were rabbits. We believe they were human beings, and you know, uh, throughout life, you know, people marry and they what have you, and from that, the Jews are the descendants of. Uh, Mary doesn't have me. I hate Mary because uh, the Catholic believe Mary is the queen of heaven. There's no queen in heaven. There's only one king, is the Creator. Right. About, okay. the, about the flag, sister, sorry, sorry. About the flag, do you know where is the Hajj? They do pilgrimage. Muslim, they go Hajj. I don't you know Hajj? I don't know Pilgr Hajj. Do you know Kaaba? I don't know Kaaba. Do you know where Islam start? He told the 600 years ago. Yeah, where, what geographically area he started? Middle East? In, 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 in Mecca. In Mecca. And Jamaica. Mecca. 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 Mecca, not Jamaica. Mecca, where is Mecca? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, Mecca. So, so today, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. But in in those days, it yeah. would just be the Middle East. Yeah, because the Middle East. There was, the there was no East. Saudi Arabia. In the Middle East, there is no flags with the moon and the star. So who created the it's flag? It's just a political other countries, in, 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 other countries, in Tur in Turkey, other actually, uh, Ottoman, Turkey, Ottoman, Ottoman Empire. Empire. Yeah. You're talking about hundreds of years afterwards, or certainly many years. So the, what I'm trying to explain to you, sister, is that the, the, we don't. We as Muslims <laughs> give no. I believe you are true Muslims. Yeah, well, may Allah make me a true Muslim. We don't believe in this uh, cre crescent on the moon, a flag, and this because is how... Because we only believe in Allah is... Yeah. We, 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 we creator believe, is only God. Right. Creator yes. is God, and we don't believe... We, in, in Islam, we, have, we are warned... I said no offensive. No, no, I understand. I in, in Islam, we are warned against I what is... I just want to share this story no, with I, you. I appreciate you. Thank you. In, in Islam, we are warned very severely about Bidah. And Bidah 
is innovation. In innovation. And innovation is something that is not in the religion that you put into the religion. Why do you let them do it? No, because and it's a very important principle in Islam. Because if you turn a blind eye to bidah, to innovation, what happens over years is that the innovation grows and the true message is lost. So Allah warned us, the Prophet Muhammad warned us that every innovation, whether it's a big innovation or whether it's a small innovation, is in the hellfire. So don't innovate. Don't make up stuff about your religion that Allah had not intended you to, to do. Otherwise, you what will happen to you has happened to people before you because they made innovation in religion. They made superstition in their religion and the religion transformed into something that God had never intended it to be. I have believed that um, uh, Islam is a uh, is very pure. I have believed it was very pure and um, very pure to God, pure man to God. I have believed that. But since I knew this lag with moon and, and, and also with the rabbit fence and also with the, the circle of life, people die, become animal, animal die, become, become uh, human, and all, all, uh, all the connections together. I believe that you have one innovation in your true Muslims. There is a lot of innovation. There are lots the of big one. There, but there the are big there one. are lots of Muslims who who have changed Islam for their own corrupt interests. They do horrible things. You don't have you don't have to be sad about it. No, no. I, what I'm, I saw your eyes. You no, no. Have, have what I'm, because what I, this is normal. Yes, of course it is. In Christian also. Of course it is because the Quran explicitly says Allah says in the Quran that there are explicit verses and there are verses that are ambiguous and the people with a disease in their hearts will turn to the ambiguous verses, right? What that means is that somebody who has a disease in their heart to do bad things will turn to verses that could be interpreted to do this or to do that and they will justify their bad actions by manipulating and fabricating the Qur'an, which is supposed to be a guidance to humanity. And so you have people today who kill people, innocent people. And they say, oh, in the Qur'an it says, you know, kill the disbeliever, wherever you find them. That's what I just said, you just cut the but, half sentence. Right, but when you cut half a sentence, you remove the context, you remove who is it talking about, what is the context, you have corrupted. Uh, something that was pure because of the corruption in your own heart and there are, and, and that's part of innovation and we are warned severely you need to get it a whole mini right yes that's why it's very important you know I've, I've said this example many times you know if somebody comes and somebody relates a story to you and they say Abbas picked up a gun and he shot this man you will say oh my god Abbas is a murderer but if the story the context was that this man came to kill Abbas with a gun and then Abbas quickly picked up the gun and he shot this man now it becomes self-defense You know what? You this smell really like Adil I, I, I Adil is the one who bought me Quran okay. and, he, and uh, he is very uh, sincere to God okay. always, uh, always uh, worship sometimes loudly in the whole hospital everybody can hear right. you, can, you can feel you can feel in him his, you can feel it. Well, um, so. may, may Allah make me that way. <laughs> is, this, I, I mean, is, this, is this your name? Sam Dam? No, no, no. This is, uh, <laughs> sorry, this is the channel. Uh, this brother here, he's got a channel on YouTube. So he, this is his channel that's called Sam Dawa. Yeah. I see. Uh, he's a competition. I'm just joking. <laughs> we, we're EF Dawa, but we are, we're a different channel. But sister, look, there are a lot of bad people who do a lot of bad things in the name of religion. And what we have to realize is that this is a manifestation of their own corruption within their own hearts, not them following the religion. Jesus never preached to go and hurt innocent people. But there are people today in the name of Jesus 
you know, in America, here, there, everywhere, who go and do horrible things. There are people in the name of Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the name of Allah, I understand they go and do what horrible you're, things. I, I, I understand but these, what these, are, these are corrupt people. We don't, we don't follow these people. I understand what you are saying. As I just said, Buddhism, it is it. Yes, there is a reason. Yes. And I believed what the what, uh, what the theory they said human died could become animal again next life. Yes. Animal died could become human again next life. Yes. I believed that. Yes. So somebody told me London is a zoo. Yes. How many human beings are here? <laughs> you told you told bad people. Oh you told you told bad people. You said bad people just now. Maybe they are not people. Well, uh, obviously, you know, our, our belief is different and it, we, we don't believe that, we don't believe in reincarnation. We believe Allah gives us all one opportunity, one life. And even if one looks at it logically. And people die and just buried and the spirit just uh, stay somewhere and waiting, waiting for the God coming again for the justice and the judgment. No, no, no. What we're not, do, what we're not told to do. That's what Jehovah Witness believed. Yeah, I know. But what we don't do in Islam oh. is wait for something to come to change us. Allah says to but change, judge. Okay. Change what, what we believe is that in Islam, Allah says but we don't talk about change, we judge. Allah says you that we do not, we not, we do not. To. So we just have, God. if you don't mind, we just have you. Yeah, Jewish God. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, it's becomes Jewish God. Yes. Yeah. No, we we, we believe Allah. Allah says we do we we do not change the condition of a people until they change themselves. Crazy. We do not change the condition of a people until they change themselves. We are responsible for our actions. We have to strive to do good. And then Allah says that we will help you. Then Allah says that we will change your circumstances. That's why I believe. This is what we that, believe. That, that's what I believed before that uh, the true Muslims are really very close to God. So why don't you become a Muslim then, sister? I can't because of the moon. Forget the moon. Oh, I can't. The forget the moon. I can't be, forget because the, the rabbit and the moon and the cat. Forget the rabbit, forget the cat, forget the moon. Just turn to God. And, I, I am with God. Alhamdulillah. And, 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 and what I would say to you is the that... What I would say to you is that we see Islam as the same religion from Adam up to the last messenger, which is Prophet Muhammad. We believe they all preach the same thing. One God. Don't associate partners with God. Don't worship anything in creation. Just worship the Creator. That's what attracts me here. And be good, be just, be honest, be decent, be humble, and be a servant to all of creation. Whether people are of your religion or they're not of your religion, be a servant to people. Be good to people. Everyone comes, comes here for for a task. Yes, and we, and we believe that, and we believe that they all preach the same message. The core message was the same message. But it came to different people at different times as they could absorb the message. That is why I told you in the Bible, Jesus says, I have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. I have much to tell you, but you're not, you're not able to bear it all now. But he, when he comes, seven masculine pronouns will show you the whole truth. And this is Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because in Islam, what is the whole truth? Muhammad. What, what is the whole truth? The, ho the whole truth? The whole truth is how to live your life completely. From how to pray, how to eat, how to do all of your duties to one another. We have this explanation within Islam. So that's why I would, sister, I would invite you to inshallah accept Islam and to submit to the will of the Creator and follow the teachings of Islam because they will transform your life, inshallah. They will Thank give you, you guidance. They will tell you exactly how to worship, how Allah wants you to worship Him. Same like, same like you cannot get rid of the moon out of your flag. It's same like me. I cannot get, I cannot get rid of the flag in, out of my heart. Okay, so if I, if, because I saw that flag, okay. I saw Muslims. So if the Muslims get rid of the flag, will you become Muslim? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so it's, oh, it's the the government. I have to fall under that in Turkey now. <laughs>
I have to say that, Mr. Erdogan. Please, I want this sister to accept this love. Get rid of the flag. Oh, subhanAllah. That's the only step I cannot step in. Because there's moon there. I can't step in. Right? Believe me, sister. The moon, the stars. We believe that all of this is the creation of Allah. When the Prophet's son, Ibrahim, died. Yeah, he's created also. Listen to what I'm going to say to you, sister. When the Prophet's son, Ibrahim, died, he was very young. And, the, and there was an eclipse. And the companion said, Oh, subhanAllah, look, the eclipse has happened because the Prophet's son died. He corrected the people. He said, the moon does not eclipse at anybody's death. This is Allah's, this is, this is the realm of, of God. In other words, it is something of a natural phenomena. It's nothing to do with the death of a child. So we don't give importance to the moon or the stars. We believe that these are all creations of God. But in it, in, it, in themselves, we believe nothing has any power or any shared divinity or shared strength to God Almighty. They're just a creation of God. They serve a purpose, what God has created them for. But we, op we, we give them no importance more than that. This is what we believe. That's why I invite you again to Islam. And don't worry about these flags with the moon on. Take, take your true Muslim religion. Um, true Muslim. I don't want to say religion. I just want to say true Muslim. The true Muslim. It's very nice true. way you put, put that. I, I like you. True Muslim. Go to the America. The, the, the whole America. South America. North America. Because Colombo founded that island. Of Columbus. And, uh, yeah, Columbus. Yes, yes. And your name, Abbas, yes. remind, reminded me the founder, uh, the, the founder of the, uh, the uh, of America. Col yeah, America. Okay. Columbus. Your name okay. reminded me that. Oh, Maybe right. you're part of him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I think not. I think he was Portuguese, wasn't he? Columbus, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I just said, yeah. You believe what you believe. I believe that people died, could be people again, in different countries. You see, sister, we believe what, we believe about these things, what Allah has disclosed to us. And uh, there's, there was one Muslim, your, your Muslim brother, he gave me uh, such a heavy book. He wrote it himself. He's a professor in, uh, uh, in London, which university I forgot. Okay. He, he visited me, he gave me that book. And he said to me, he said to me, he, the only thing he doesn't like is uh, the Chinese government is uh, because of uh, uh, Dalai Lama, the, the Tibetan Buddha. Uh, he, he was a Buddhist, uh, uh, he's regarded as the highest Buddhist monk uh, in Tibet. And he's um, had to leave Tibet for his safety. Because obviously uh, the government in China, they, you know, they I don't know, like, probably arrest him. I don't know whatever the issue is. There. So the, the, this Muslim, uh, your Muslim brother, he obviously op appreciate uh, Dalai Lama, yes. And uh, what Dalai Lama said himself, he said he is going to be the last Dalai Lama in the whole world. There will be no more Dalai Lama again. You know Dalai Lama? Yes. They died again, then be, and yes, be yes. born again as a baby. Born, and, born again as a baby, that's right. Baby and become Dalai Lama again. Yes. And he said, this is last life. No more. But anyway, sister, uh, my invitation to you still stands. Thank you. That please uh, accept Islam, because inshallah in Islam, what you will find, in fact with a certainty, what you will find in Islam is a complete explanation of why you are created, and how you should be throughout your life. I, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I really appreciate your sincerity for the invitation. Yes. And uh, I really, really want to tell you the truth. Even our names are not in uh, that. And I really want to tell you the truth that uh, I can't accept Lula. You can't accept? Lula. Lula calendar. A lunar calendar. Lunar calendar. No, but, Even the Chinese lunar calendar. No, but we. No, but we. Lula Muslim lunar no, calendar. Jewish lunar no, calendar. No, I can't accept. No, but, no, but what we do. The moon and the flag, I can't accept. No, but what we do is this, sister, is that 
mankind needs a, a, a structure of time to be able to do things. So throughout since, history... Since, since uh, and um, to now, yes. how long time in right. history? No, no, no. So, so how what long time do so what, people still, mankind so, still need? So, so what we find is throughout history, man had found a way to judge time. Seven days a week was very common throughout history. And the lunar calendar was also something very consistent that you find throughout history. Because this was a very good way, a visual way, of assessing time. How old is he? How old am I? People, they turned to the lunar calendar because they could see it, you see? And so they could judge. Even this concept of 12 months of the year, this is not a new thing. I think the Chinese have 12 months as well, right? I don't accept everything from China. No, I understand. My point to you is that a lot of these concepts, just as the concepts of the Creator, even these concepts of time were throughout history. And that's why we say that Allah sent down messengers and prophets to all of humanity throughout history from Adam alayhi salam. And many of these consistencies that we see, even in different geographical locations and different times are very similar. And that, asks, that poses a question. And the question is, how do all these similarities occur? when they were independent of one another. And we say that this is a strong argument to say that Allah had sent messengers to people and he taught them these things. Thank you very much for all the explanation. Lovely. Thank you so much. Well, I, would, that, I, I, I wish to meet you again. The Inshallah, on, we'll be here and the, the only thing, yeah, The only thing I uh, tell you is I just cannot accept the moon. Lula means moon also. Yes. I cannot Oh, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't we're, we're not hung up with these things. The only thing I want is only with him. That's no, all. And that's that's what's important. That's what's important. Yes. So inshallah, what we'll try to do is we'll try to do a bit of research. Anis, we're going to try and do a bit of research and try to find a good Chinese Quran for the sister. And fifth on the fifteenth, if the sister comes, inshallah, we'll give her a present. And no, no, I will borrow it and give you back. No, no, it's our present to you. No, thank you. It's a gift. I, I don't accept. What we say? What we say? Okay. What we, I, what, if you borrow me, I accept. Okay. We we'll let you borrow it, yes. and then what we will give you. I'll give you back. We'll give you permission. If you know somebody else who speaks Chinese and they're interested, you can lend it to them. No, I prefer <laughs> give you back and you give it as you, as you wish, as you wish. Good. Thank you very nice, much. Nice to meet you. And see you again. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.